Okay, looks like I'll be repairing a kayak today. So I went out in my barn and I found a T-post impaled into the kayak. So I had the kayak in a vertical position at the back of the barn and um, some critter knocked it over and it slammed right into this T-post. Looks like it caused some more damage down here. So today, that's what we're gonna do. Right there is the little critter that I suspect did it. She was probably chasing a squirrel in the barn. So anyways, is what it is. So I've got a couple options on repairing this. I can either use a simple wood burning tool, which I already have lit up. You can see the smoke coming off of it. But I also have a little plastic welding kit here. I'm not gonna use any of these staples. If anything, I might use this device right here that goes onto the plastic weld kit. So I'm gonna tackle the hole first. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a V into this. Cut it deeply all the way through. Then I'm gonna melt and fold the plastic back in and swirl it around into the V channel that I've cut and see if I can mix all this back together. So I'm not missing any plastic in this situation. It's just been cut and separated. So I'm gonna push it all back together. Same thing with this. I'm not missing any plastic. It's all there. It's just roughed up. So I'm gonna smooth that all out also. It's a pretty simple fix. So right now, I'm just kind of pushing the plastic to the side, making that V channel right down through there. And I wanna make sure that whenever I melt it all back together, that it's not just a thin layer of plastic that's welded back together. I want it at the same thickness as this kayak plastic. So that's why I want to go all the way to the bottom. Now, if I'm missing plastic, that can be fixed by finding like the uh, entrance hatch and shaving a little bit of plastic material off of that. I have some blue barrels around here that's real resistant to UV rays, but they're blue. All right, I'm getting pretty deep in there. So as you can see, I'm getting pretty deep down into there. I've got easy access to the inside of the hole because it just happened that it was on the other side where the hatch is. So I'm gonna go ahead and start folding this plastic over and melting it together real well all the way down through here. And then I'm gonna flip the kayak over and go in from the inside. There we go. So get it nice and hot down in that valley and then push this plastic down in it and you may have to play with it a little bit to get get it just right there I feel once you feel that plastic start softening up then you can fold this down in there just like that I'm just kind of getting the feel for it so I'm kind of going back over it now and I'm kind of now I'm kind of seeing how how this stuff works I tried using a heat gun one time and that was nearly disastrous it heats up too big of an area and causes all the plastic in a large circle to uh, to get very soft and then you wind up with uh, Everything's sagging, and uh, sagging's never good in any situation. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna keep on working this like this. And that way we know that there is no water gonna come into this. Now to finish it up, I'll go on the inside and I'll cut a small shallow V channel out of it and do the exact same thing. That way I know it's got a good bonding all the way through this cut. Okay, this where all these chunks have been removed and scooted to the side, same thing. You just go in here, heat that plastic up until it's nice and soft. And then fold this down. 
fold the excess material right into it. There you go. Just like that. Then I'll go down through here and do all of them. And I tell you what, I absolutely love these kayaks. They can take a serious beating and it is very little effort to repair them. I have two kayaks that uh, broke free of their straps going down the highway coming back from Cocoa Beach. I was only like 60 miles from the house. They flew off going 70 miles an hour down the road. All they had was minor scratches on them. Anything else would have just shattered and busted into a bunch of pieces. But these plastic kayaks, they can take some serious abuse. And keep in mind, I'm just using a wood burning tool kit here. I'm not even using the plastic welding kit that's actually probably designed to do this very thing right here. Now I probably could have cleaned this kayak off and I could have scrubbed the end of this wood burning tool off because it's got a lot of debris on it and that's why my plastic is a little dark in places because it just kind of burned off and smeared in with the plastic. So if I'd done a little bit of prep work and cleaning all this then uh, this kayak would be just straight up red plastic and would look great. But I'm not overly worried about it. Good Lord, this kayak's probably 20 years old. Now I'll flip this kayak over and work on this from the inside. Okay, inside, I've uh, already wiped it out. Give it a little bit of a clean in here. Because the cleaner your surface area, the cleaner your repair job's gonna be. Like I said, not overly worried about it. I'm just doing it for funnies, really. Just gets thrown on ponds and up in dirty creeks and stuff. It's just kind of basically a backup kayak. Same thing. Heat up the inside. Actually, I'm going to start over here. It's kind of puckered. Just go down through there. Opening up that V a little bit. There we go. Come back in here and make sure it's warm and pliable in that little V. And then just kind of push your plastic back into it. Stick it in hot. All right, I'm going to put the camera down so I can get in here and concentrate on this a little bit more. Ouch, that sucker's still hot. So I've got that all melted back together and had a little bit of debris in there So it got mixed in with the plastic it is what it is. It no longer has a hole in it So I'm not worrying about this sinking now when I was talking about if you need extra material What you can do you can come around the edge of these kayak hatches With a razor blade and shave off a little bit of plastic all the way around here And a lot of times you can use that extra plastic to uh, to make repairs but I really wouldn't even mess with it unless you've lost plastic where the hole's at. If it's just a matter that a cut has been made into the hull of the kayak and the material's just been pushed to the side, then just uh, heat it up and roll it right back down into the cut. Super easy project. Hope you guys got something out of that. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.